The leadership question remains a critical issue across the globe. Political and social economic crisis rocks the world with governments looking for answers. Big businesses, churches and families all struggling for a solution. Citizens, on the other hand, are also asking why their governments and civil society have failed them. You cannot seek to be a leader if you don't understand international politics, international questions. Because if you don't know, you can't lead. A man cannot give what he does not have. In Nigeria, leadership remains a huge challenge as young people seek the right answers. In realization of the demand for meaningful and purposeful leadership, the Center for Values in Leadership was born to raise a generation of value-oriented leaders. CVL is an initiative of a great motivator and a man who loves to walk the talk, Professor Pat Utomi. It was conceived as an intervention program to bridge the leadership gap that is widening daily in our society. Many initiatives are really the effect of the force of an idea. In the late 1970s, as a graduate student in the United States, I became convinced of something, that in the culture of talk, many say a lot that they really are not committed to. As a result, I made a pledge that whatever social phenomenon I became critical of, I needed to make an effort, no matter how feeble, to provide some active solution to that problem. At the heart of the CVL mission is the elevation of the dignity of a human person beginning in Nigeria. The sense of a great duty and a big burden to improve the quality of life of young people in Nigeria by building the right values in them led to the setting up of the Center for Values in Leadership, CVL. In 2004, we formally tried to bring together a variety of activities that we had been involved in under the platform of a Center for Values in Leadership dedicated to essentially trying to empower and shape young minds in the hope that one mind at a time we could shape our world because we were building leadership values that could reorient things. The Center for Values in Leadership offers various training programs to inculcate true leadership culture in young people. In Corporate Social Responsibility CSR Outsourcing, we help clients to develop and implement their CSR. Through CSR Outsourcing, we bridge the gap between a needy community and the CSR budget of the organization. The community's needs are met and the organization enjoys the satisfaction of seeing results for its efforts. We have managed the CSR project for ExxonMobil, DFID, T.Y. Danjuma Foundation and more. The CVL Leadership Development Center was born primarily out of the need to create an institution that will train the next generation of Nigerian corporate leaders in the values and skills needed to establish and sustain global and locally relevant companies. Our target is on the soft skills of leadership and values that give meaning and resonance to the hard skills of accounting, human resourcing, marketing, 
operations management, etc. that people learn in business schools and similar institutions. The centre trains students, young managers and senior managers and young professionals. That first leg of our tripod was learning to learn how we prepare people, create a culture of learning to learn in young people. The uh, second part of the tripod essentially was about service, sacrificial giving of oneself for the good of others because people don't trust you if you don't care about them. And very importantly, until you can have a sense of giving something bigger than yourself, a legacy, a sense of seeking immortality, you really can be a leader of, of worth. Thirdly, very importantly, uh, courage of conviction. Because too often people become convinced about what is right, giving their conscience, giving their knowledge, but they lack the courage to stay with that which is right. The relationship between employee unions and company management appears to have taken a you are the oppressor, we are the oppressed dimension, causing a cold war between two parties that are supposed to be collaborating to achieve a common progressive vision. The issue of contextual relevance at this point is not who is right or wrong between management and employee unions, but how this indispensable relationship can be smoothened out to become productive to the economy and beneficial to both parties. CVL, after much study and research, has developed a program solution for the management and labor union conflicts experienced by corporations in Nigeria, the CVL model for industrial harmony. This retreat structured program aims to smoothen the relationship between management and employee unions through purpose reorientation while teaching modern rules in labor management engagement and introducing a program of continuing education for both parties on the grievance process and law conflict institutional arrangement for managing workplace issues such as the JCC, the Joint Consultative Committee model. The CVL Annual Lecture is one of the important programs of CVL and a key instrument we have adopted to constructively contribute to the nation building and national development since 2004. The lecture attracts more than 600 high profile guests drawn from the public, corporate and business sectors in Nigeria. At this event, which holds every February, we assemble note-thinking leaders and renowned experts from around the world to discuss topics relevant to our country's economic and social political development. CVL makes no material gain from organizing this program. The Role Model Forum is a CVL interactive monthly program where an individual who has achieved remarkable success in his or her field of endeavor shares his or her life experiences that the participants can relate to. The Role Model shares how he or she overcame challenges while upholding the right values and ethics. The participants will then ask questions and share similar experiences and lessons learned. I want to see how I can further reposition what I do. The goal of this program is to inspire young people to become achievers in their various organizations, and the program attracts more than a hundred professionals every month. Through this program, the young professional gets more committed to his work, bearing in mind that one day he or she will rise to the top. I came here expectant. I came here expecting a lot of um, information. So um, I came to inspire myself basically, um, to learn from experienced people and um, I wasn't disappointed. It's a wonderful experience. I am particularly impressed by what CBL is doing. They are setting the role model, creating values and showing people how to go about doing their businesses. And that is one thing I'm for sure that a lot of Nigerian entrepreneurs need. What um, struck me the most was that the speakers were frank. I mean, it was no highfalutin theories. It was really the basics, how they each went through to get to where they are today. Um, I must confess, I had intended spending just half the day. I was going to leave after the first speaker spoke, 
But then I stayed on and I'm, I'm so glad it was such a well spent day. Apart from the knowledge gained, I also met one or two people who I feel I can collaborate with and the various things I'm looking to do. So altogether, a fantastic experience and I will definitely tell um, people about it. CVL, you know, that's exactly what you know, I feel is absolutely required in this country, in the continent as a whole. People are looking for role models. There are a lot of young people who are talented, a lot of young people who have ideas and you know, meeting role models and creating and celebrating role models, getting a chance to listen to their stories is, uh, is absolutely the right step. CVL, Center for Values in Leadership, initiated the Leader Without Title LWT Sector Leadership Tribute Series to honor outstanding sector leaders at some important point in their lives. This program is in keeping with our commitment to affect the next generation to be leaders without care for title. Its aim is to erect role models for the next generation and salute in reward those who have run the race well. I want to again congratulate Chief Anyoko and uh, on behalf of the Center for Values and Leadership, I wish to present this award to you as an exceptional sector leader. Congratulations. We are both seeking, for instance, um, a knowledge-based society. We want to promote the, the level of understanding of international affairs um, in Nigeria. And since the CVA, for instance, is now looking at uh, the personality, the characteristics of state actors, as well as non-state actors, the roles they are playing in um, Nigeria's foreign relations, now placing a greater emphasis on international life, which, as I've said earlier on, uh, is uh, not generally emphasized even in the teaching in uh, most of our universities. Uh, we thought that um, the, the, the CBL is a good ally and that is why we have come together. In order to reverse the ugly trend of degeneration that has permitted our society, there's an urgent need to heed the call to raise a new generation of leaders with the training and skills to change our fortune and secure us for a better tomorrow. The Center for Values in Leadership has seized the bull by the horn. It is time for all and sundry to join us in raising the right set of young people today for tomorrow's challenges. What you learn here is far bigger than what you learn in the universities. Universities, you'll read the textbooks and learn the textbooks, but here you are learning the rules of a life, the rules of engagement how you go about applying what you have learned in the universities in order to achieve your real goals and values in life. Very soon, Nigeria will be better off because of an organization like CVL that is preaching, acting and teaching young people and leaders presently about values in, an, in leadership context of Nigerian society. Going selling clothes and selling other things and selling, having shops everywhere selling uh, food uh, ingredients and so many things like that. We still add to the things we learn in this place. And we are still learning because Patitomi is still ready to bring in people to teach us more things. I thank Professor Tome and the rest who have been organizing this, uh, this uh, uh, club to help women out of their hardship. At the Center for Values in Leadership, we are answering the leadership question with pragmatic interventions. As Rodin Sharma will say, unless you can go down to your grave knowing that your life made another life better, living really has left something to be desired. And that's what leadership is about.